Hi, Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are having another mukbang. So we are having a dumpling mukbang and we have a few items here that were sent to us by our really generous shop owners. So we have here some kuchai dumplings from Neutschki and some pork dumplings and some pork spare ribs also from Neutschki located in BF Resort Las Minas. And then we have here some chili garlic oil, Hong Kong style chili garlic oil by Chef Duos from Bulacan or they also have a branch in Bacoor in Bacoor Cavite and we have kimchi here by Chocolabella Catering and Bakery like our Facebook page and then we have here some hakao dumplings and vegetable dumplings sent to us by Veronica's Corner so let's start our mukbang <laughs> so the ones from Neutschki, they're bite size. They're really cute, cute. They're really cute. <laughs> they're really cute, and also they're very affordable. So let's try it with some chili garlic. Oh my gosh! Dumplings without chili garlic is wrong. It's just wrong. That's kind of spicy, yeah. Kimchi is good. Mm -hmm. Of course, I made that. <laughs> so this. It's a concoction of ours. Okay, so this one is cranberry juice. Oops, and then we have a 7 up. So we have the cranberry juice. And then we are putting in some 7 up. Oh my gosh, it might spill. The sauce is good. I'll try the spare ribs. The spare ribs. Oh, I'm so excited for the spare ribs. So every time I go to a Chinese restaurant, I always look forward to eating dim sum. And my favorite ones are bean curd rolls. Um, unfortunately, we were not able to get bean curd rolls. We'll have another mukbang for that. And I really love hakao and and the spare ribs. I really love those. They're so good. Mm -hmm. And you know what I like to do? Eh? I really like to get the sauce of the spare ribs and put it on the rice. You can't see the haka. You have to adjust to it. I'm kind of overwhelmed. I don't know what to eat at first. Mm, the haka is good. Mm, really good. Mm. Everything's really good too. The kuchai pie, I think our dad will love the kuchai pie. Our dad usually orders kuchai pie when we go to Chinese restaurants. Wait, I'll get I'll get the container for you. Oh crap, that's really good. Looks like alcohol. That's really good. No, seriously, that's really good. I like more half pie. What's that one in the middle? Um, the one in the middle. They are vegetable dumplings from Veronica's Kitchen. Thank you so much to everybody that sent off this stuff. They are all so delicious. I'm sorry guys, but I already tried the vegetable dumplings a while ago when I was cooking it. <laughs> they were delicious. Okay, I I really like kuchai pie. These are actually really good fried too, but I don't know, I just decided to steam them. They're really good both ways. I think my favorite is the hakao. Mm. I haven't tried the hako yet. I gave you one. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Mm. Papi will love the kuchai pie. Mm. Mm. 
and of course we have to have some rice because oh my gosh that's the kuchai pie sauce that's not the hot <laughs> sauce <It's okay. laughs> we have to have some rice because we're filipinos our kimchi we make this and it is really really nice and fresh I mean I know that it's a fermented food but it tastes really refreshing How's the chili garlic? Mm, good. Mm -hmm. Really I good, see. no? Yeah. This pear ribs also good. This chili garlic was sent to us all the way from Bacoor, just so that we can have it with our dumplings. I completely forgot about the chili garlic, <laughs> and thankfully enough, Chef Dua sent us some chili garlic. I had a lot of these already, the kuchai pie. The thing about all of these, you know guys, mm -hmm. they came frozen. They came frozen. But they still taste good. Yeah, they taste really good. The one from Noichki, that one, they gave it to us, but I picked it up only in DF Resort. So I just drove by there, and then they gave me the package. The one from Veronica's Corner, that one is in DF Paranaque naman. So, um, I had to get a Lala Move, but it's really worth it, you know? Mm. Mm. Five star for everything. Yeah, don't you mm. think? Five star for everything. To be honest, if you have like a business, you can honestly resell most of these things. Really, really. Especially the chili garlic oil. And I drink. They're looking for a reseller for a reseller for those. This one is yours. So good. The drink, doesn't it match the meal? It's so good. It's something different. Cranberry juice plus 7 up is magic. I'm a magic, 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 magic. Pulang rice. Mm. Oh. It's okay. There's a lot of dumplings. Mm. Did you guys try the veggie dumplings? Mm. One only. Mm. Oh, wait. Is it, aren't they both veggie? Yeah. I only tried but, this one. I didn't try that one. Now it's veggie dumplings. Now it's time. They're both you, veggie. Yeah, but you'd think they're the same. This one, parang, it's all vegetables. The kuchai pie. The kuchai uh -oh. pie. I don't know if there's meat inside the kuchai pie. Wait, I'll check. Hakos big. Hakos really big. Super, super worth it. Everything's super worth it. I felt like I got this from a restaurant. It's restaurant quality food. You mean like chocolate bello? Mm-hmm. Like chocolate bello. The kuchai pie kasi has a bit of meat in it. Um, I think some ginger. So the flavor profiles are totally, totally different. This is so delicious. I can totally eat this on its own. Wait, I might trip on the I really like the pork, the, the spareribs, they're so delicious. I'm so happy I found this. So, our topic for today, before we finish all the food, because we've eaten almost everything already, was supposed to be Harry Potter. So now, just like anime, everybody at home loves Harry Potter. Everybody here is a Potterhead, right? Mm. Right? Mm. Mm. <laughs> so, Harry Potter came out, I think, around in us grade 5. And did you start watching it around that age too? Yeah, grade 4. Oh, really? I mean, they were all good, but definitely the book is still much better. Did mm. you finish the book already, Claudia? Uh, I read... She, she has not started. The only one I didn't finish was the sixth. My favorite one is Order of the Phoenix. Ah, why? The book. My favorite one is Goblet. Goblet the Fire. Mm. No, so Goblet um, the Fire and not. Prisoner Basket. Yeah. Yeah, personally. <laughs> he said you don't like enough Chamber of Secrets. Mm -hmm. That's the no. Chamber of Secrets. 
Why not? Because because you know I don't like scary movies. Sure. No, it's not, not scary. scary. It was the part that said, "Damn." <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of food. This wasn't everything, guys. They sent us. There's a lot more. There's a lot more of what they sent to us. And we're having another one. We're having a shabu shabu mukbang. I really, really love the books. But do you guys think that the movie were as good as the book? I think the movies are more popular than the books because everyone knows Harry Potter is a movie, mm -hmm. or the story is a movie. Mm -hmm. Of course. But I think they did a pretty good job. The first one did okay. Mm -hmm. I think most of them did, except for Order of the Phoenix. For Order of the Phoenix, I was a bit confused with how they portrayed like the characters. Like, what was Neville's role in that, you know, thing? Mm -hmm. the book, I, Neville, I feel like Neville was a more important character in the book than he was in the movie house. Uh, in the movie. <laughs> right, he was a <laughs> loser in the movie. Yeah, even, he, no, even in the books, he was a loser, but the, the, what do you call that? The chosen one was Harry Potter, right? But it was a choice, right, between Neville, Neville and, and Harry Potter. Potter. So he he actually had a more important role than people think. People what just know him as the. But that, but that he was a no. What do you call that? He was. They both his parents died. Also. But you know, can't feel it because he didn't read the book. He didn't read the book. Oh my gosh! So that's why. Just in the first one. Oh my god! I think I think we'll be able to finish the. The fifth book. The fifth movie didn't do it justice. I felt like it was so, so, so rushed. Like it wasn't even explained what were those. But there were these balls. There, these lighting balls. They were supposed to be the aur auras then or something. The one in like the library thing. Yeah, but so the lighting up things. It wasn't explained what those were. I was just so confused when I watched it because I watched the movie uh, before reading. before reading the book. So I was kind of confused about that. I'm like. I like the first and the second, first, second, and third, and the fourth tour without watching the, uh, uh, without reading the book, you could actually understand it that well. It was not a bad movie, it just was my least favorite among all of them. Oh. But no, no, the fifth book was my favorite. Although we did watch, we have watched the movie like a million, a million and a half. Mm. But not now because the DVD. Yeah, because we, we used to watch it in DVD. And there's yeah. none on Netflix. Netflix. Yeah, Netflix. How come you don't have that? I would have been watching, watching it all over there. Akio Dumpling. So big. <laughs> but do you guys think that the crowd favor would have to be um, the fourth book, The God of the Fire? I feel like that's what everybody does. Because the story was kind of like a tournament. Well, it is a tournament. So people like those kinds of plots. Yeah. Like I feel like that's what everybody likes. It's not like the the Order of the Phoenix. It was kind of deeper. Um, especially the seventh, the seventh installment and the and then the last part. They were parang deeper. Parang it was talking about like many different things regarding Voldemort. However, the what do you call that? The fourth book, Goblet uh, of Fire. It's like fun in it. Yeah, it was fun and interesting and it was mostly talking about the, the competition. And then there were snippets of what was happening, what Voldemort was doing. Uh, you know, I think that's why it was more interesting than the other books. For a person who's not really into the whole Voldemort thing, which is like to just enjoy it. And then there was the also ball. the movie. Yeah, the movie was really fun and then Robert Pattinson was there. For me, I think the fan favorite is the first one. Because it's the most iconic. Mm. Yeah. And say if one person just watched one Harry Potter movie, it would obviously be the first one. Mm. What I'm saying, um, I think that the crowd favorite would be Goblet of Fire. Because it was funny. There was a prom. There was a competition. There were good looking men. There were good looking women. The whole teenager thing. It was focused on that, the the teenage life of them, like asking people to the ball. <laughs> But I prefer the, the experiences in the first in the first uh, movie because they all started as normal kids. That was they're going to uh, all go to a uh, magic school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, it. That's why everything gets interesting. Mm -hmm. 
the way their friendship built was really nice. In in the movie, it was like after the troll, the troll thing, they suddenly became friends. But there were a lot more um, events that mm-hmm. happened that led them to becoming really good friends, which I really really appreciate. Because it's supposed to be a children's book, and it shows a lot of values, a lot of good values about um, being a proper friend. The really cool thing, really cool. The really cool thing about the movie is they kept all the characters. What do you mean? I mean, all the actors, not the characters, all the actors. Mm-hmm. Except that now in the last the movie, mother. in the last movie, they changed the actor. They changed Dumbledore after the third movie. After Did the you second die? Movie. Yeah, the original. Right, I know. I think I forgot if it's crab or boil. Boil? Mm. Uh, boil. Yeah, that's one of them went to jail. Why? Forgot. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm gonna you. I'm gonna make it be dead. Okay. Cho Chang. I, was Cho Chang the same? It's not important. Yeah. Cho Chang. Cho Chang is not important. She was irrelevant. But since we round up the girl in the group, he took it. I'm taking it. Sister, sister. <laughs> you took Hermione and your sister. When you were ordering ordering the dumplings, I said, "How many would you like?" And I said, "We'll take the lot." <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was in the states. When I came back home, right, I bought you guys some Harry Potter stuff, which you did not eat. I ate the frog. I gave you we chocolate. I gave you chocolate frog. Where's Dumbledore? Oh, yeah. oh really? Because wow. oh, yeah. <laughs> when I went to Florida, so I went to Universal Studios, and then I bought them a bunch of Harry Potter stuff. I, I I bought them some snacks, and then I bought myself a bag, a Harry Potter bag. It was the most expensive purchase I made in the states. in the description to check out all the foods that we had in this video. Were they delicious, Claudia? Of course! <laughs> like and subscribe! See you guys soon! Bye. Bye! So I got a few more dumplings. They are also delicious. The two are full already. <laughs>